I have to pull the uh, rear gears out of my um, rear end out of my 47 uh, Dodge. The differential, uh, I think I have bad bearings. Hopefully I don't have a bad pinion and ring gear. Um, these are very similar to the Ford where you can pull the entire unit out and work on it sitting on a bench. I see a lot of videos for more modern trucks or uh, GM products and some for the Ford, but I have not been able to find any video showing how to uh, complete this procedure for the Dodge uh, series. So I'm going to try to document uh, the steps for uh, this 47 Dodge WC half ton. All right, uh, I've got vehicle jacked up. First thing you need to do is remove your rear hubs uh, so you can slide the axles out. I'm not going to film um, pulling the hubs. You will need a hub puller in most cases if your uh, hubs are on too tight on your brakes, but uh, they shouldn't be too difficult. Um, there, This procedure is documented in a lot of places. Now, I said I wasn't going to document the procedure, but uh, just some quick notes. You, you, you do remove the center uh, nut, and then you remove the outside hub. Again, you might need a hub puller to pull this off, but once you have that center nut and the hub off, you'll end up uh, looking at this. You're going to remove these five bolts, which are the backing plate. That should be all you need to do to slide the axle out. That's what holds the axle out. There's not a retainer within the pumpkin inside a differential. Once I get these bolts off, if I encounter any other issues uh, pulling the axle out, I'll document that. Okay, now that I have the five bolts in that plate, it falls right off once you remove the bolts. I will need to attach a slide hammer to break the axles loose. Uh, there's a seal here where they're kind of pressed in a little bit. And um, probably shouldn't take too much, but uh, uh, a slide hammer should um, pop that loose. I'm back. So the standard hub puller that you would get borrow from your um, local auto store, or if you have one, won't fit because we don't have studs. We're just down to the axle. So I actually went to Home Depot, bought a piece of C-channel, and made my own adapter to um, get a hold of the axle and pull it out. So basically I just drilled the holes and uh, made it uh, set it up to where it would receive the standard uh, apparatus from the slide hammer, then um, I will pull it out using uh, this tool. Okay, I've got my slide hammer set up. I've never done this before. In the videos that I've seen, it appears to um, come off fairly easy. A couple of good whacks. Okay, I'm going to have to work on this a little bit. I'm going to pause this. Okay, I ran into a complication. Did not realize that the um, entire brake backing plate had to come off also in order to get these off. So I had to disconnect the um, brake line, which I was hoping to avoid, but both sides have now popped out. I should be able to remove the um, whole gear assembly from the rear differential. Okay, I sort of skipped a step before I realized it didn't film it or the start of it, but you need to remove your universal joint um, so you can drop your drive shaft uh, in order to pull this out. So once you pull your axles, in my case, this is an 11 bolt rear end. Again, 11 bolts you have to release, uh, remove. Um, 
do this after you pull your axles out and um, this whole front unit will come out. Be careful, it is heavy. Uh, don't get surprised by it. All of a sudden dropped out, drops out. Mine's a little easier to access because I don't have the bed in yet. Especially if you're working from underneath of it, this thing could really surprise you uh, and injure you if you're not careful.